Hi, everybody. This is Noelle from Petiti Garden Centers. And I wanted to talk to you today about humidity, which is kind of, it falls under our houseplant RX videos where we're trying to make you more successful with your house plants. Now, humidity is very important and I think it often gets overlooked when we're talking about house plants because inside, especially over the winter, when we have the heaters and the furnaces, you know, are kicked up, kicked a little bit higher, temperatures are definitely warmer inside the house but also that dry air is circulating. So we always tell you, keep your plant material away from hot and cold drafts, vents, all those types of things. So we don't want that hot circulating air on them. The other thing you have to remind yourself is, humidity is usually very low, unless you're running a humidifier inside your home. But usually over the winter time, it's average household humidity is around 10%. And most of your tropical plants want it 25 to 50%. So anytime you can increase the humidity on your house plants, it's really a good thing. The only plants you really want to, you don't have to do it for, are your succulents and your cacti. So don't worry about them as far as humidity is concerned, but everything else you really do want to humidify. So how do you do that? Well, one of the easiest ways, of course, is going to be by spray misting. So spray misting, you can do this as often as you like, um, but what I normally suggest is do it in the morning. If you're spray misting in the morning, that gives the plant the opportunity to utilize that humidity throughout the day. If you're spraying in the evening, that leaves droplets, water droplets on your leaves, and that can cause some disease issues and some other problems here. So if you're spray misting, do it in the morning, do it daily, do it every other day, it does not take the place of watering, okay? So don't spray mist to the point where it is, you know, thoroughly soaking the plant and the soil. You're basically just misting the foliage again to increase the humidity around the plant. So misting just around the plant is the best thing you can do in the morning if you're gonna use the spray mist for humidity, okay? Another thing that we think is very, very smart to do is group your plants together. So taking a number of smaller plants or even larger plants, placing them together, that way they create humidity for each other. So grouping is a very, very easy way to do that. Another thing that you can do, of course, and we suggest this quite often, so you don't have to go out and do daily mistings, is create a humidity tray. Humidity tray is very easy to do. You can take a plant saucer, whoop, like this terracotta saucer, you fill it with pebbles, and basically after that, you fill it with water. And I place the terracotta saucer on top of this cork um, saucer as well, because terracotta, as we know, is porous, so it can have um, a little bit of water leakage underneath. So that's why I place this on the cork, unless it is, it has a ceramic glazed interior, okay? So keep in mind when you're looking at your terracottas. And then all you have to do is place your plant right on top of the pebbles and the water that are in this tray. The plant's not absorbing the water from the tray. The whole idea is that the water is evaporating over the course of several days around the plant. That's a simple humidity tray. Another thing you can do, obviously, is just get a plastic drip tray like what you see here. Same thing, fill it with any type of pebbles that you prefer, and then go ahead and you can place your plants right on the humidity tray, clustered together if you like, or individually, make sure that that humidity tray is filled with water just to the top of the pebbles. And slowly but surely, over the course of a week or so, you'll start to see that that water is going to disappear. One other thing about humidity, again, I talked about, it does not replace watering, okay? But it does help the plants slow the use of water and transport. Um, transpiration. Sorry, it was really tongue-tied on that one. So it's always good to keep your moisture meter around. Go ahead and place it in the plant material so you are checking on the soil moisture. Again, 
Uh, the palm here, this Neanth Bell palm, is slightly dry, so we'll probably go through, thoroughly moisten it, but still keep it in a humid area so it does get nice humidity around it, plus humidity also helps reduce those dry tips and leaves that you also see on palms and ferns and other things, okay? So that's Humidity RX in a nutshell. Enjoy.